Hey, good morning, Checkies. Welcome to the vlog. You know what I think? I think today is gonna be awesome. What do you say me and you make today awesome together? Well, I actually have to speed the colubrid snakes for the very first time of the year today, so that's gonna be really cool. And remember how yesterday I had Carl over, the teacher from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and he picked up some racks? Well, this morning I have another teacher from the Detroit area that unfortunately lost their pet ball python, their kind of team mascot ball python, but they don't have a budget to replace it, so she's gonna be coming by this morning, and I'm gonna donate one of my ball pythons to her, so that her class can get back and she was so overjoyed she loved having a ball python to show her class and so bummed that she didn't have the budget to replace it so you know hey it's no big deal if we can get a snake in that teacher's hands and those kids are excited about it it's a win so she should be here anytime so we are excited we have Angela here she is a middle school middle school right yep, middle, middle school. school teacher of course she has a entire school that loves her pet snake. We are gonna help her out with that. So she is amazing and, and teachers like Angela are, I mean, it, just sharing the story she shares with the, the kids, it's like a reward for them. You are so stupid. To get a chance to spend some time with her ball python and uh, we wanna make sure that they continue to get that reward and continue to really get exposed to those animals. So we're gonna find something that's gonna be perfect for Angela. So okay. what do you say we go take a look? Yes, yeah, so let's All go right. take a look. All right. All right, so we have looked at a handful of ball pythons and again we're just looking for a normal ball python right now and uh, this is this is actually het for a project I'm working on it's it's a dinker project so it's it, it could be heterozygous or it may not be genetic it's hard to say regards doesn't matter uh, you want uh, just a normal boy and this is perfect for you and look at look at it's already bonded so well with her he's just like cruising and around I'm so happy and it's just gonna be so cool to think that so many kids are gonna get an opportunity to meet this boy Boy, and what will be his name? Viserion. From Game of Thrones. From Game of yes. Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's just great to think about that. You know, I mean, how many kids will be touched by that animal? Mm -hmm. And of course, the great work that you're doing, bringing it to them. So uh, this is a great way to start the day. I wish every day I could start my day like this. It's yeah, fantastic. So, so we just appreciate what you're doing because it's awesome. You. I mean, Thank you guys you so are you guys much. are awesome. So. And you know, I want you to understand how, even though I do incorporate science into us having a classroom pet, I have kids that are so bonded to the snake. I have one young man in particular, he's in seventh grade. When we got the snake, I took him home for a few weeks because we had like building issues at the school and things. So last week he came up to me, said, Miss Bowen, I miss my best friend. And I looked around, I said, well, he don't like anybody here. Who is his best friend? And I asked him, I said, who is your best friend? He said, the Syrian, the only animal that's not here. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so awesome. Yeah, so it just made me feel like, oh my God, I'm so glad I did this. And I'm so thankful that I had a principal that was very supportive of me having a snake as well, especially, you know, in the uh, city of Detroit, you yeah. know, and my parents have been very supportive, so much so they bring their kids back to the school two hours later so they can watch the snake get fed. It is so awesome yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, that is, that, that right there, sums it up. I mean, that's what life is about. So I'm excited and this is awesome. Thanks, Thanks again. So Keep up the good work. Oh, okay. You, okay. You. We'll see you later. How awesome is that, man? I mean, I tell you what, I wish I could start every day of my life. I mean, she is such an amazing person. She's doing so much. Those kids just absolutely love the snakes and she's using it as kind of a way to keep behavior good too. Like, hey, if you're good and you behave well, you can spend some time with the snakes. So kids are actually, uh, you know, literally behaving in school so that they have an opportunity to spend time with the snake, which is just absolutely incredible. So anyway, great way to start my day. I'm gonna go ahead and feed the colubrids. Before I get started feeding the colubrids today, I wanted to show you something. Steph brought me these cups. Of, and of course, you guys always know that I say, be kind to somebody. Well, guess what? These cups say, be kind, which I think is absolutely awesome. So, you know, I tell you what I'd like to do because I have a handful of these cups. I want to send you guys a couple of them. So I'm going to pick, you know, three or four or five of you guys down in the comments 
comment something great, hit the like button, notification bell, subscribe, whatever you want to do, I don't care. I'm going to pick five random people and I'm going to send you a Be Kind cup and I'm going to send you a signed photo if you want it. It's up to you guys. But anyways, I just love these Be Kind cups. I think they're great because that's kind of my whole motto in life. And something else I got from a friend of mine, uh, it came anonymous, but I am almost positive that it was from my buddy Robin Marklin at the Reptile Report. He sent it anonymously, but he had just asked for my address. So I'm pretty sure it's him. And of course, it's uh, these guys here. This is called Parasite Pals. Thank you, Robin, for being such a kind friend. <laughs> we have uh, Tickles the Tapeworm. We have uh, Z's the Bed Bug. We have Blinky the Eyelash Mites. And of course, we have Ding Ding the Head Louse. Ding Ding, I'm not so sure what happened. Anyways, Robin, thank you for the Parasite Pals. I will uh, happily display these in my office. You are fantastic. Regardless, I'm going to go feed colubrid snakes. So the first thing that I need to do when I'm feeding colubrids is of course get a bunch of rodents in thaw because I need a lot of them. So the first meal of the year I always go kind of light. So some snakes that might eventually eat two or three mice at a time are only going to get fed one mouse just to get their digestive system started. Okay, rodents are in thaw. They're gonna sit for probably about 30, 40 minutes. I'm gonna warm them up maybe once or twice. And they should be ready within about an hour. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna go look at some of your YouTube comments. How's that sound? All right, so it's just been a few hours since I uploaded the videos and you guys have already hit me with like 900 comments. I love you guys. I love when you hit me with 900 comments because it gives me a chance to read a lot of fun stuff. Uh, one of the things I, in this video I asked about going on these trips and you guys have given me some good advice. But the one thing I wrote, <laughs> this is the first comment I love. This is from Hugo Chikamori and it says, as a Canadian, and this is by the way to the little thing where I said, hey, there's uh, people ask me this question all the time and just, I just thought it was funny. Can you get toilet paper in Canada? It was just something silly I found on the internet. So this was uh, Hugo's answer. As a Canadian, I can answer your question. Do they have toilet paper in Canada? No, we use three seashells. The place where you're supposed to have the toilet paper, you got this little shelf with three seashells on it. Sorry. So there you go, there you go. Canadians don't use toilet paper, they use seashells. Thank you, Hugo. Claire Chapman. You had 666 likes. I made it 667. You're welcome. Mass kill of 469, which by the way scares me that username. I'm giving you a choice. Either put on these glasses or start eating that trash can. Says at 311, you said you were gonna hatch some beautiful skanks. No, Mass Killer, it's skinks, not skanks, skinks, skinks, skinks. <laughs> you may want to change that username because. You scare me. Okay, before I get started, I saw something on the internet I thought was really funny, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. And uh, we'll try it on Lori first, if I can find her. Where is Lori? Lori! You're not trying to Yep, yeah, I'll try it. All right, this is the deal, Lori. Ready? What's your favorite movie? Why? What's your favorite movie? Stop being difficult. What's your favorite movie? The Wedding Singer. Now add naked to it somehow. The Naked Wedding Singer. Somebody kill me! <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> you don't think so? You get too much time in your hands. Get to work. Hello. What's your favorite movie? Uh, Cast Away. Now add naked to it. Naked to it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? The Naked Castaway? <laughs> no, that sounds wrong. <laughs> what, what's your favorite movie? <laughs> oh no! First one that comes to mind is Bridesmaids. <laughs> Sorry, so, the Naked Bridesmaids. Naked bri bridesmaids, oh my god. <laughs> this is great. Alright, you guys are you guys are wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> it really works. Go ahead in the comments, guys, and tell me what your favorite movie is, and then add the word naked to it. And let's see how fun this will be. Okay, no more putting off my work. I've been dicking around for the last couple hours. It's time to actually work. So I am going to really feed the cloopers right now. Seriously, I'm going to feed them right now. Right now. Well, yeah, right now.
Okay, ready to go. So basically, again, what I was saying is that uh, as time goes on here, we'll probably be more hand feeding, feeding multiple rodents. But this first meal is just about getting a meal into them. So we're gonna put one rodent in each of the cage, whether it's a small mouse, a big mouse, a rat, whatever the case may be. All these snakes get a meal today. I tell you what guys, I am so excited to be feeding colubrids again. I mean, it is it is so much fun to just kind of see the animals again. And, and, and now, like I said, every single day that I'm in town, I will be interacting with these animals, whether it's feeding or spot cleaning or breeding. So it is awesome. I'm just jacked about this. Okay, one aisle done, the other aisle to go. I just love this. I tell you what, I know it's strange that I'm getting so excited, but it is just awesome to be back feeding colubrids. Uh, I can't wait to start breeding them and then getting eggs and having little babies again. I'm excited. So uh, last aisle to feed. Okay, and that's it guys. Feeding colubrid, first time of the year, is in the books. That was absolutely awesome. Now, tomorrow I actually have to go through and check everything, you know, spot clean them, and that's what we do every single day, is we, we feed them twice a week, and then every single day we spot clean them. Of course, tomorrow I need to check to see what ate, and I mark them on the feed charts, and the other days I'm just spot cleaning because metabolisms are really quick this time of year, so if you even go two or three days without a spot clean, the cages are destroyed, and we wanna try to spot clean as much so we don't have to tear the cages down very often because we're always taking all the dirty stuff out, putting fresh stuff in, and it works out well so anyways feeding number one in the books success okay I just fed a few things downstairs and now I am wrapping up to head home Lori wasn't feeling that great she had a headache so I thought if we're gonna do anything but no one might want to do something I have no idea but now I have to play the little game of find Bella oh that was pretty easy Hey Bella. So basically I'm just trying to have Bella run around as much as I can. I want her to have as much freedom as she can and get really comfortable with things. So a lot of times I just let her out. As long as the dogs aren't around, she just kind of runs around. But obviously it's time to get going, so she has to go back in her cage. I'm sorry, girl. Don't run away. Come here, girl. Come here. <laughs> Where are you going, sweetheart? Where are you going, sweetie? Come here. Oh, it's okay, Bella. It's okay, I love you. Come on, bud. I know. That's okay, girl. Up you go. There you go, sweetheart. Good night. Have a good night, okay, sweetie? Love you. Ah, oh, she's so great. I love her so much. So it's been a pretty uneventful night. I always bring my camera home just in case something is gonna happen with Noah or Lori, but when I got home, everyone's just kind of chilling out and there's not much going on, which is fine. So I'm gonna shut it down for the night. I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog today and I hope you have an incredible day. Remember to just make the best out of whatever happens and that's gonna make things a lot better. Or at least that's what I like to tell myself and it usually works out well. Again, thank you for watching and thank you for all your support. Do me a favor and smash Smash that like button, hit that notification bell. Make sure you guys be kind to somebody, just anyone, even a random stranger. It's gonna make you feel better about yourself. And I promise, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.